here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't playing around. Yeah. Yep. Well, started. It started? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I so, started I started on the whoop whoop. Oh, nice. They heard that. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Why wouldn't you? Whoop, there it is. Yeah. In the 90s style. Yeah. yeah. Come on in, jam. <laughs> Tag team. Back again. Check it directly. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is the last time somebody started something off with tag team. Uh, I don't know. I, Ooh, dude, yeah. that was such a huge hit. Yeah. I don't know. They still play that stadiums. Probably. I mean, they should. They should. That and who let the dogs out <laughs> at a Browns game. Nobody yeah. did. Do you know they that? They still seem uh, caged up. Do you know that it is a play on words? Is it? Yeah. It's the dog part is meant for bitches. So who let the bitches out? Oh. And then they bark at you because apparently that's what bitches do. They bark at you. That doesn't seem right. No. I thought it was kind of sexist, honestly. I don't agree with it. As you shouldn't. <laughs> As you shouldn't. All right. Those so, fellas from Jamaica, I think. Yeah, probably. So I, like I said before the show, I haven't worked a full week in the month of February. That is awesome. Yeah. Um, With this weather. Um. And a couple other scheduling things that was already pre-planned, but been fantastic, actually. I don't know what the hell. March, there's no pre-planned days off. So you don't know? <laughs> so, I mean, I just, I got to schedule, like, my, like, some doctor's appointments or something just to yeah, gotta, get, do get, that. Get <laughs> use them days up. Gotta use them days. <laughs> well, yeah. mine's, uh, my week was different because we had some snow and then some threat of snow. So it started with... uh. The one day it was supposed to start snowing at one yeah. in the morning. Yeah. So I woke up at three. Yeah. No snow. <laughs> yeah. And then, then I'm up. Mm -hmm. So I'm into work by 430. So, yeah. you know, that's nice. And then, uh, then it did snow. Yeah. <laughs> so the next day I was up at three. <laughs> yeah. And, and, work, got... and into work by four. Yeah. And then it was bad. Yeah. And then uh, today I uh, had to do some cleaning again because mm -hmm. of the wind. Hell, I tried to shovel mine. Huh. Thursday, it was all ice. I had to go get, yeah. had to go get a chemical mix just yeah. to break it up. It, it worked well, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It works nice. Threw a lot of, I mean, hundreds of pounds of salt I have thrown in the last couple of days. Oh. When I say I, I mean the guy, other guys. Yeah. <laughs> Sat in the truck with a blade on it. It's warm. They yeah. look fucking cold <laughs> out there. I mean, they, they came they, in, sat in the truck, go, oh, it's cold. I'm like, yeah. is it? Is it? I'm in the truck because. You know, you got to keep the heater going yeah. so your windshield wipers don't freeze. So they're mm -hmm. so fucking hot, you got to put the window yeah. down. <laughs> so I'm, I'm plowing snow in the window hot. down, listening to the radio, and these guys are complaining about yeah. how fucking cold it is. One guy turned blue. Oh, it's with the wind chill, it's seven. <laughs> well, you know, not in here. Feels like 80 in Which here. Just like 85. <laughs> yeah. It's a I'm tropical layers breeze. off. I brought my gloves with me, and I don't know why. <laughs> two pairs of gloves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my hands are getting all sweaty. <laughs> You can, wear yeah, mine. you can wear mine. Getting all I sweaty. brought two pair. <laughs> Harry, your hands are freezing. <laughs> Four hundred fifty thousand. Uh, oh, you gonna hold on to that yeah. one? Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, probably since the last time we talked, people were concerned about the tests I took. Yeah, I did. I got my scores back. Did you pass? I did pass. I'm proud of you. Thank you. You paid attention. You did the yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I got you know because you get a packet of study materials. Okay. And it's like, you know, shrink wrapped or whatever. There's fucking seven books or whatever. Jesus. All of our fucking pesticides? Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. I mean, when I, and they're not like, you know, college books. Okay. Are, I mean, they're. Is there, are there pictures? Uh, yeah, there's pictures of Good. plants and Good. disease. I, I'm and a picture book guy. A lot of words, though. <laughs> but I, uh, I cracked that seal and uh, tore those books out of that wrapper in the class. So nice. I never. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I, I never opened them before. Yeah. So uh, I paid attention in the class. So mm -hmm. I, I got, uh, of the 90 questions on the one test, I got 81 right. Good job. So it's not as good as I wanted, but it's okay. It's okay. And on the other one, I got 44 out of 50. So, you know, I had, yeah. some, I had some leeway. You're passing, like, yeah, passing, passing was like, I think I had another 20-some I could have missed, missed on the one. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> I mean, be that was, bad. Yeah. Yeah. So... Good job. I'm proud of Thank you. you. You know pesticides. Thank you. You're a pesticide yep. man. I know how to do math and calibration. That's good. And figure square footage. Proud of you. 
and you identify. You can do square footage, huh? Yeah. You can multiply. Oh, yeah. I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of but you. Actually, that's the funny thing is when they went over <laughs> that in the class, they're like, does everybody know how to do square footage? You take this times this, and this is what gets you. I'm like, really? Yeah, we're all adults in here, <laughs> and if you're in the business that applies this shit, you should kind of know that, because I'm guessing everybody in here has at least been on a sprayer at some point in time. Like, this isn't just your first, Yeah. oh, you need to know that? I have to know the square footage? Do I need to know how many ounces are in a gallon? <laughs> Yeah. How about how many pints? That that's you a need tough to know one. that too. That's a tough one. Yeah. That's always my what, favorite. Four pints in a gallon? Two? Come on. Two pints? Two pints? Are you shitting me? I don't know how many pints you in a gallon. You don't know? There's four, isn't it? There's four quarts in a oh, gallon. Yeah, you're right. There's eight pints. Eight pints. I forgot about that. I always get quarts and pints mixed up. Yeah. But when quarts, I, quarter. Yeah, you I know. know. That's, that's, yeah, <laughs> I, I, that's where I get it. But I always think of pints with ice cream because I always get a pint, pint of yeah. ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Well, eight yeah. of those is a gallon. <laughs> Well, I don't eat. eat. <laughs> liar. Okay. You fucking liar. <laughs> I can't be myself on this show. <laughs> Do you know how many ounces are in a gallon? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, That's good. good. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to need to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God. <laughs> uh, okay. So you asked me a question. <laughs> you're not. You're, I know you're not going to answer that question because you don't. <laughs> We haven't taught that in math yet. <laughs> we haven't got to that section. I don't do liquids. I'm on the. I'm on the. I'm teaching my kids about kilos. Yeah. God, we're two doing, point two point two pounds. We're doing fractions right now. Yeah. God. I mean, we do mess decimals. Yeah. And, gee. We already did decimals. Yeah. Now we're in, we're into fractions. Yeah. Because we're in America. Yeah. And we're the only country that uses fractions. fractions exactly. Uh. Yeah. I'll take an eighth. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. I'll take a half a kilogram. Yeah. Half a kilo. Okay. Oh God. Uh, that was uh See you you learn on this podcast yeah. also. We teach we teach math, even though I don't know it that well. Yeah. I've not I I the one nice thing is that I can still do the way I got through high school and stuff is uh, not take any books home. Don't do any study work. Yeah. Pay half ass attention in class and pass the test. Pass the test. That's the that's, way to do uh, it. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't buy a book through college, so I did it the same way. But the internet exists. Why, yeah. why, why would, would I buy a book? a book? Yeah. I don't, we didn't even, like, <laughs> I didn't buy the book, but we didn't use the book either. So, it, so like, <laughs> these suckers who are like, oh, did you buy yeah. the book? No. I want to buy it to see if we use it. Well, then you get, like, some of those professors who'd be like, um, you got to have this book because everything's going to be in it. It's yeah. called How I Teach, and it's yeah. written by me. <laughs> Each student must purchase this. Hey, man, stop trying to get your Amazon rating <laughs> yeah. up by forcing these kids yes. to buy your book. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. The thing called calculator on my phone. I don't need <laughs> you. Yeah, we're we're going to teach geometry. Fuck you. No, it's I don't want geometry. Just yeah. figure out it. That's the other one. You don't need to figure out how to give change back because hardly anybody's using cash anymore. Yeah, I know it. But, you know. That's good, though. That's good. Yeah. I guess. So I did ask you a question. Yeah, you asked the me podcast. a question. I asked you if the new CBA, because obviously the old one didn't pass. Correct. And now there's a new one. Yep. There's new stipulations. Yep. Is it going to pass? Yes. Okay. I think it is. Now, the stipulations that are in there it, is why, because we talked about Actually, you know what? We didn't talk about this. We texted about it. Yeah. Because I'm not a fan of how the players are handling this. They're yeah. just saying they're against it. And they're not saying fucking why. Yeah. And the NFL is going, well, we're doing this. And uh -huh. we told them we're doing the, you know, it's $5 billion. Yeah. The, all the good PRs on the owners. Mm -hmm. And the players are just going, this is so, I, uh, we're definitely not saying this is a terrible deal. Uh-huh. Okay. Why? Well, well I don't want to uh get into it, but it's like. <laughs> well, the other side's saying Getting all the good it. shit about yeah. it. So maybe you ought to say the bad shit. Mm-hmm. So uh, the 17th game yeah. is, is a big deal to the players. Yes. And not to mention, and they didn't add a bye week. They're not no. adding a bye week for no. them. And they're adding basically an extra playoff game. Yeah. So if you make the playoffs, you're <laughs> potentially getting two more games. Yeah. 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 So there's only one bye in that. So they're not, they're upset about that. Mm -hmm. uh, plus it's a, that playoff game, you don't get your salary in the playoffs. No. You, you get playoff salary yeah. so everybody gets their uh, game check for yeah. a playoff game so the reduced rate uh -huh. 
Uh, the 17th game is also going to be the reduced yes. rate at uh, capped out at 225. Yeah, I'm I, you know. I thought it was, it was a 250 or 225. Two fi- doesn't matter. Okay. You know, you're making exactly. $38 million. Exactly. Your game check is not $250,000. No. no, it is not. But the reason it's going to pass is because what the genius of the owners did. Okay. So they wanted to cap that, you know, and, and that cap might have went away. Uh-huh. <clears throat> but or actually, it might still be in there. So if they're capping the veterans at 250 yeah. they're obviously pissed about that. Yeah. But everybody, everybody makes at least a hundred for that game. Okay, so it's going to get those young guys. The bulk of the league, I want to say eighty yeah. percent, of the league doesn't make a hundred thousand yep. dollar game check. Yeah. So, th- so I what mean, are you doing? Yeah. I, I mean, you can bitch all you want, but you better uh-huh. get on with those young guys. Yeah. Because most of those guys playing three years. Exactly. And I read where the, it's causing a discrepancy between the vets it and, and, the, and the young guys. Because obviously, yeah. if I don't make that a game, I want to make that a game. So it's, you know, whatever. Because that was, uh, so I want to say I was reading something and I think it was a couple years ago. Uh, the Patriots payroll breakdown. Because you're trying to yeah. get a figure of what the average NFL salary is. Uh-huh. You, you, it's tough because this guy's making $38 million yeah. a year. This guy's making four hundred. Mm-hmm. So oh, it's uh, you know, one point two million. Yeah, that's it's not, not really it, no. not really. <clears throat> and the Patriots break down. Obviously, had you know Tom Brady and them. There's uh, one guy that made over, or a couple guys made. No, one guy made over twenty five million, which okay. was Tom. Yeah, and then some guys from twenty to twenty five, which is like <laughs> I don't even know if Gronk was there, but somebody might have been there. Mm-hmm. There's some guys from ten to twenty. Yeah, of their fifty three man roster. 21 of those players on that Super Bowl team made less than a million dollars that year. Okay. I mean, so you, yeah. you know. Exactly. So and, and that's them. So exactly. you got. So you're, yeah. And, and, and the only reason that they can have 21 mm-hmm. is because the quarterback that should have been making 35. Exactly. Was down to was 25. Was down to 25 because of his so, selflessness. Yeah. That's what you want to call but it. But now you you take a look at the a roster that has a $30 million quarterback on mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 25, 26 of those players aren't making a million, you know, making mm-hmm. 800 grand. And that was, and I was wondering if the, uh, one of the things that they should hate the veterans. Yeah. Cause they have, it's supposed to help the veterans when it was put in there. Okay. Is, uh, you know, a pay scale. Yes. So it's what, 450 or 480, uh-huh. whatever the, the minimum is. Yeah. Uh, year two, it's five something. Okay. Year three, it's, 750 gotcha year four it's 900 okay so it's hey you know you're a yeah. role player yeah but you're getting a pay raise mm-hmm. no because mm. then you're year four yeah and you're still a guy that we're not going to sign for over a million dollars okay i'm going to cut you and yeah, sign exactly. a college kid for yeah. 450 uh-huh so you're 900 i just picked up two guys yeah exactly for year one so that's what's happening gotcha so, you know, it's like it was supposed to be a good thing for the mm-hmm. players, but then the owner's like, well, you're a borderline guy anyways, making league minimum. Exactly. So you're, I'm going to cut your veteran ass. Minimum, I'll just cut yeah. you and get a, get a rookie yep. or get a, a second year. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, makes sense. It's business. Because it, I mean, most of those guys are, are uh, special teamers anyways. <clears throat> exactly. I mean. Yeah, they make their living on, yeah. on special teams. So. And those guys play three years. Yeah. yeah at max. You have max. The, the, the one guy, yeah. that, you know, always a couple studs. Yeah. So it's. It seems like there's always a couple studs for good teams. Yeah. You know what I mean? You always, you'll find that one special teams guy that just plays for fucking forever. Right. Like the Slater dude right. for the Patriots. He's been, I don't know how the fuck long he's been in the league. But that's all he does. Yeah. Yeah. He's been like special teams player of the year for like for like the last five years. And I'm I surprised mean, they haven't cut him. I know. like, hey, you're making a million dollars and you're a special teams guy. Yeah. I don't, I don't feel like we should have you here. No, not at all. But that uh, was some big breakout coming out too yesterday is <laughs> you know you never know what to do with the tom brady talk yeah but it was coming out yesterday it's out that, that, he's, he's, that he is not going back to no, new england it just seems like he's not which i don't understand like where they get that information i know is he just i are you is he just saying that kind of because they haven't had talks or is it, uh, it is there be. actual because it one well technically obviously they're talking mm-hmm and you're not allowed to be talking right now. No, you can talk to agents, you can't talk to right. players. And you're technically not even but that's kind of, that's kind of the unwritten rule of football. I don't yeah. think technically you're even supposed to be doing that. No, but I, I don't But everybody kind does, of does it. Does, so yeah. it's like 
Yeah, why are all these other agents mm-hmm. in Indianapolis this week? Yeah, exactly. That that's why they Which, said you're you're not getting as many leaks this week mm-hmm. is because free agency and the combine are are, are three weeks just, it's apart. one of those rare years where yeah. they're they're too far apart. Uh-huh. So you're not getting the 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 thing with that is and I don't understand why you can't talk to an agent. I get why you can't there's a time where you can talk to players. Talking to an agent doesn't do anything. It gets you a you don't even have to make the deal. It's no. what does your guy want? And that way you can base that judgment on the rest of free agency. Right. So I, I don't know why that's, I get why it's the go ahead and do it. But right. I just don't see the, what well, you, well, the, the legal, the illegal part of it. Like talk to yeah. him. I mean, you can't sign anybody yet anyway. Yeah. Trades don't go through till still two weeks if there is a trade. Right. And that's the, uh, it's just such a weird period. It and, is. You know, and like, all the you know numbers thrown out from the Raiders. Well, they're going to offer Tom Brady two years, sixty million. How the fuck's that number out there? Yeah, I, who, who who said, said that? that? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> no, but here's what does make sense when you're talking about Tom Brady wants to get broken off because mm-hmm. he you know he had the first time he's had this control. Yeah, or or you know hadn't taken a pay cut. Mm-hmm. And they're saying, ah, oh, the Patriots are just going to sign him if thirty million is the number. Then you know it's like well, he also wants weapons. Yeah, exactly. Can't sign him for both cap space for the Patriots this coming season? It's low. 45 million. Yeah. So if Tom takes 30, where are you getting a weapon? Uh-huh. Because guess what? It costs you about 7 million to sign your draft picks. Yep. So you're working so with you're about, 30, so, so now, about 8 now million? Get, yeah. Yeah, now you got, got 8, 8 million, million left? Yeah, you can't. You don't what, have any weapons. Nobody. You know, and you can't. No, the only thing you could do, you could trade a guy <laughs> who's already in contract year, trade for a guy. That's it. That's the only way you get away. I mean, obviously, they can always restructure some deals, but yeah. that, when you start doing that, you start getting into like where the Saints get yeah. with the Drew Brees stuff, uh-huh. where they keep backing it and backing it and backing yep. it, and then all of a sudden, when Drew Brees retires, they gotta pay him a shit play. Well, no, it's just a dead money. They keep rolling it. Yeah, you're right. So when he retires, yeah, he, like the year first year he doesn't play, they're like eighteen million dollars dead cap space uh-huh. of like, yeah, we. <laughs> We fucked Who up. can't sign anybody. Yeah, but if you you know you're going after a Super Bowl, and that's mm-hmm. why that's why you, you know you sign Michael Thomas for that. Yeah. for this specific mm-hmm. reason. But yeah, I, the, a lot uh, a lot of rumors today also about the uh, Tampa Bay. Yeah, and Tom Brady. Yeah, don't rule that out. Yeah, I of, know. Yeah, There's weapons there. Two of the best receivers in the game. I mean, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to pay Mike Evans. Yeah, because his contract's up. Is it all the way up? Or is I believe he, so. Is he unre- unrestricted or restricted? I think he's restricted. Oh, then that it's nothing. I mean, then they can because they can. Going to want doesn't matter. They can tag him. They can tag him. Yes. If Tom Brady, if they tag Mike Evans and he's pissed off and they sign Tom, Tom Brady, you think Mike Evans isn't going to play? <laughs> yeah, it's good. I mean, yeah, which is it would be a. I would go there. Yeah. All you need to do is draft a running back. Yeah, because you don't have one. You have you literally, which have, is fine. You don't have a running yeah, there's back. A couple of them. You couple can get, of them. You I mean, get there. Um. Yeah, I mean the defense is young. It's a young team anyway, right? I mean, so you you know, there's a lot of upside there. I don't I, for sure. Winston's not going back there, and because I think that's my guess for sure. He's not going back to. It's the it's the weird one is the Arians' offense with Tom Brady is kind of weird. Mm-hmm. I don't know, you know, can he sling it as much yeah. as he likes to pass the ball? Yeah, you know, he still threw some deep passes and yeah, stuff like that. I but mean, it's it, but just, he only throws. But it's 20, not in his game. But he only throws about twenty passes, twenty two passes a game. Right. Fucking right. Winston was throwing forty last year a game. Yeah. Old, you know, you're forty three. That's gonna catch up with you, man. But at, at the end of the day, <laughs> the team that would sign Tom Brady, the only one that could. There's two of them, and one of them, one of them's the Raiders. Yeah. Obviously, moving to L, you know to Las Vegas. Vegas. You know I mean, but the one that really needs it. Is the Chargers mm-hmm. because they couldn't sell out a soccer stadium, and next year they're into a big boy stadium. Yeah, eh, you have Philip Rivers gone. You got some talent out there, yeah, kinda. But uh, yeah, I. You want to sell the you you want to sell some tickets? Yeah, I know. Sign Tom. Give, Sign give Tom him forty Brady. million. Yeah. That, I mean, that might be that might be the only way you're going to sell yeah. some tickets. I mean, because people in LA don't give a fuck about football, anyways. No. no. That's why and, they couldn't and, sell. And if they did, if it would be for the Rams. Yeah, because they're and, and they don't. No, they didn't care about them either. No, they barely cared about them when they went to the Super Bowl. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a Lakers town. I mean, mm-hmm. it's Dodgers town. The Dodgers, Dodgers, the Lakers. 
The cheating Dodgers. <laughs> Not the Astros, easy. Wasn't they in that mix, too? Nah, it could have been. I saw a shirt that said, uh, had the Astros <clears throat> logo, and underneath it said the Houston Asterix. I thought it was funny. That's pretty nice. That's funny. That's I was like, that's nice. cool. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. So, we have a, an abundance of quarter, new quarterback talk okay. coming out with Tom Brady, obviously, go to, to leapfrog off that. You have Winston potentially going to a new team. Um, the Bears are in talks of needing a new, wanting a new quarterback. Um, obviously the Buccaneers need one. What are the Titans going to do? Even the Raiders of getting rid of Derek Carr. Um, where would you find Derek Carr being a good fit? Oh, Tennessee. Okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, depending on, you know, cause I mean, they have a shitload of free agents. I understand, but yeah. they have a quarterback that might be, if he asks, you know, if he asks for too much money, yeah, you got a problem. Mm-hmm. I mean, which they could tag him, but yeah. do you tag him at 28 mil? I don't know. I mean, that's... That's a lot. Know, that's a lot. A lot of guys to sign. Yeah. It depends on the Derrick Henry thing, too, mm-hmm. but I, I don't know. His demeanor and everything seems like he's a Tennessee guy. Yeah. I don't know that he survives in Chicago. No, I don't think so, either. Uh, There's not an offense that fits his style no. of running. You know what I mean? No. Like, he is a north-south son of a bitch, and there's not a lot of teams who do that. The Bears... Certainly don't do that. No. Um. They 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 got rid of their north south guy last year because of they got rid of Jordan Howard because he was a a north and south runner, not a guy out of the backfield to catch passes. But I would say if they sign him, if they okay. sign Henry, mm-hmm. a car is an, and I'm not a car fan is an okay look in Tennessee because yeah. Derrick Henry got you to the AFC Championship game, mm-hmm. but he he also lost it for you because they were able to slow you slow him down. Yeah. And, and, you know, you didn't have a quarterback that, that could, could do that. And I think mm-hmm. Derek Carr can do that. He can, he thro- can, you he know, can throw, he the can ball. throw the ball. Yeah, he just he just makes some you know, stupid fucking mistakes. Right, but if you have that running back... Yeah, it takes a little I, bit of pressure off. It, yeah. No, and I agree with you. Um, I thought... I, I think it's weird, and I don't know if it would happen, but I, for some reason, I just... Winston to the Raiders is, is in my radar. It kind of makes sense. It, it does, and I... I know that, you know, Mayock wants that the uh, high character guys and all that shit, but it's still the Raiders. You still signed Vontez Perfect. You right. traded for Antonio Brown. Right. So the high character may be just a lot of talk, but he he makes sense for that offense because Gruden loves to throw the ball. Right. Loves to throw the ball. Um, They're a young team. He's going to want a lot of money, and he just seems like he would fit with the Las Vegas kind of team. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he got eye surgery, so <laughs> yeah. So maybe you can see that. That's the. Because uh, I'm not anti Jameis Winston. No, me either. I mean, he's a moron. Yeah, that's why he I'm just more does of a, stupid he's, shit. He says and does but it's stupid mo- shit. But at least the stuff the stuff that he does really isn't harmful. He just no. says stupid shit. Yeah. But you know, it's been a bit since he's done that. Yeah. I mean, besides thirty million dollars. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty fucking stupid. Oh man. But it's. The big one to me is, is obviously it, nothing happens until Tom Brady does something. Yeah. Just nothing. Exactly. That, that's just the way it is. Mm-hmm. Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah. Is that is a the, good, that's a cool name to mention. Is, is the one that's, and, and I kind of like him in Chicago. Yeah. But I don't know about Chicago. I know. I think Chicago is more of an Andy Dalton kind of guy. Yeah. Mainly because are you firing your general manager? Mm-hmm. Because if you're not, you already have your starting quarterback. Yeah. Because he's live or die with, with, yes. with Mitch. Uh-huh. I like just saying Mitch. Because <laughs> uh, that's, you know, you, you drafted him above yeah. all these all other guys. Other guys, yeah. You live or die with this guy. Mm-hmm. And I don't think they're firing their GM. I think they like him. Yeah. I mean. I, and, and that would be the, here's Andy Dalton. If the Mitch thing goes bad, we have a veteran. Yeah. Even though I, if Tom Brady's not back, I really see Andy Dalton in New England. Yeah, me too. But, I think I, I see Andy Dalton in New England, whether he's back or not. Well, but they already got that guy that the, they the drafted. Rookie? That, yeah. Finley? Yeah. No, they is like it him. Finley? No, I don't, I don't know his name. I don't know his name either. It doesn't matter what his <laughs> name is. Uh, I, uh, but the Teddy Bridgewater is interesting yeah. because he's good. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's proven that he can he's win. The, it, Everybody was so high on him before yeah. that knee injury. I know it. It was like he's getting ready to break mm-hmm. out and just and, it and just, do well, you know. and then that sucks. But 
he played well for the Saints. Yeah. He did. And I know yeah. you're throwing to Michael Thomas, but that doesn't but it matter. Didn't matter. That's in Drew Brees' offense. Exactly. That you know, that's the Yeah. So I, I really think he will be a good one. I think he would be a good one down in Tampa Bay. I do too. Because of the I offense that they run and because of who he's throwing if to. If I had to guess, I would guess that's where I mean, that's I, a guy I'm, I'm giving thirty million the musical to. chairs. Yeah. And and just going off of I don't think Tom, if we just go out, if we, if we just say Tom Brady's not back in New England. Yeah. If we just go ahead and drop that shoe. If he's not in New England, I think he's in San Diego or in LA for the okay. Chargers. Yeah. So if that opens that up, mm-hmm. I think Teddy Bridgewater is in Tampa. Okay. I, I like Jameis Winston to Vegas. Yeah. Uh, Carr maybe retires. I don't know. <laughs> Could you see Carr in New England? Yeah, I really okay. could. That's what really that's, that's one that I could see too. That, it, but it would be at a at a reduced I don't, rate. I don't know where he's at on contract. his contract. I don't either. Because um, because let's be honest, Jameis Winston's not a free agent either. No, he's just in that negotiation. Yeah. There. So they, I mean, they could tag him, which is would be bad. Yeah. It's a hey, Jameis, we're going to give you. Let, let's go three years. Uh-huh. Uh, twenty five million a year with two year guarantee. Yeah, show me, mm-hmm. show me. I, but here and here's one too. I know Rivera's saying some stuff, but fucking Alex Smith's out there. Yeah, I know he is. I mean, do, you know, well, I, I think they'd like to keep him. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, they're saying a lot of stuff that they're interviewing quarterbacks, but hey, you know, you got to do, you got to pose in the draft case. Somebody you says something stupid yeah. once Tua or something yeah. like that. You got to do it. Well, the, I mean, the thing with that is they're saying that they're. If Tua is healthy, they, there's a potential of him getting drafted at number two. I was just listening to, uh, <clears throat> oh shit, what the hell's his name? The number uh, Ryan Leaf. Okay, today, mm-hmm. uh, he gave his top five quarterbacks. Two is not in the top five. Yeah, why would he be? Because he's had four surgeries. Yeah. in two years. That's my thing. Like, I I get it. He was he's he's a good quarterback when he's healthy, but he's not healthy anymore. Yeah, he's had four surgeries and he's 22 years old. Right. That's not healthy. I don't care what anybody says it's not healthy. Yeah. You you have a hip injury, big injury in football, a hip. Because you mostly get hit in the hips. Yeah. You know, especially now with all the concussion, people aim lower. Yeah. So it's your hip, your knee, and your ankle, all places where he's had surgery. Yeah. I mean, that's not a healthy quarterback. You need your, you got to be able to work your hips to pass. You have to be able to plant on an ankle. So if those things are even at 80%, your throws are off. Your timing's off. Yeah. It's not a healthy quarterback. So I agree with that. He wouldn't be one of my top five quarterbacks. So it was uh, Burrow. Yeah. Herbert. Okay. Uh, and some guy I've never heard of, followed by another guy I've never heard of, followed by a fifth guy that I've never heard of. The guy, the love guy? Was love he up guy. There? He's third. Yeah. He, he thinks he, he's top 10 quarterback. Um, He's got the most potential, right. I would say, of the quarterbacks. Now. Jordan Palmer, yeah, is actually working with him. Okay, he said because you know, guy threw eighteen picks last yeah. year in college. Yeah. Now Jordan Palmer is from where did he play? UTEP, I think. I think he's a cow guy. No, okay, no, he was a small school guy. Okay, go ahead. And he said that you can't. You look at guys. Uh, Josh Allen was the same way. He said you look at those guys their final year in college. Mm-hmm. You gotta remember they're the best player on the field. Yeah, they're the best player on their team. Yep. They're going against defenses that maybe have a guy that's getting drafted. Uh huh. And it's he says I was in the same situation. I threw a bunch of interceptions because, you know, the coach calls the play. He says, uh, option number one's open. Make you know, <laughs> yeah. take it. If it's not, make something happen. Mm-hmm. And it's just a uh, hey, yeah. for, you force it. Yeah. Because you you're, make you're all happen. you're all we have. Yeah. So and I get that. I do get that. That yeah. makes sense. And, and you got to remember, you know, how many picks did he throw against? I'm not so sure they didn't play LSU early. Yeah. Of like, well, yeah. you know, those guys are a going little to bit league. of a discrepancy yeah. in talent between receivers and mm-hmm. defensive backs. So you take some of that in. Yeah. But uh, and then the other guys were, were some small school guys, mm-hmm. too. The the one that I'm here, Justin Herbert, a lot of guys are talking about him being a bust. Because he's he's pretty raw. He's pretty raw. He just he has he, a huge arm. To, that's, to me, he's a guy who has 10 a chance, too, because that's apparently a big deal. <laughs> The the thing with Justin Herbert, what I see, what I saw, like when he was, you know, last year, the year before, he's not a guy that is going to make these outstanding 
plays, and he's not a guy that's going to make all of these shitty plays. Right. He, he's an average quarterback. He reminds me a lot. <clears throat> honestly, he reminds me a lot of Andy Dalton. Yeah. He doesn't make a whole lot of great, you know, down the field bombs. He can. Right. But he doesn't make a lot of them. He's not a game changer <clears throat> to where he's going to go and start right away on a team, even though Andy did. But he's also not the guy who's going to throw five picks in a game. Right. That, that's he's a, he's an in between guy. If he goes, if he would go to the right situation, I think he'd be fantastic. But, but he he's can't. not. That's that's the re- I mean, I hate when it. You know, there's some guys that are just a bust. Yeah. But this kid's going to get be a bust <clears throat> because he ends up in fucking Detroit. Yeah. You know. Yep. And he's a good quarterback. He's mm-hmm. not Matthew Stafford. No. I mean, you're not Matthew Stafford's winning games by himself up there. Okay. Uh, you know, in Detroit. I mean, when you think about it. Yeah. Because who the fuck's he? You know, he had exactly. Megatron, but he, he, it, he had no, nothing. nothing else. So you're going to put a, a Herbert up there, you know, like say if they end up drafting him. Mm hmm. Uh, what? This is a, one of the worst franchises. Exactly. It's like being drafted by the Bengals. Yeah. I mean, even the Bengals have AJ Green. Yeah. So you're literally setting him up for failure. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's, it's, you're not doing anything. No. Well, and there's another one, Detroit. What, I mean, Stafford's coming off a broken back. Yeah. Of, I Let's don't keep him. Nobody knows. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of talk of, of Tua to. Detroit. Detroit. So obviously, what are they doing with Stafford? Because I don't know that he's a free agent. Are they no. cutting him? Cut him. I mean, trade him. Fuck, I don't know. Because then, where does he go? I, if I'm Detroit, I'm probably cutting him. You got to do something. You got to. You, he's got to go. He, he's. You suck. You've only been to the playoffs once, and yeah. you fired that coach for some god knows what yeah. reason. What? What the hell did Jim Caldwell <laughs> do? Dude. He got you. Well, he didn't win. We got you the playoffs. No. <laughs> I don't get it. And here's the other thing. Everybody on the team liked him. Yeah. Everyone. Everybody. There was, he, he brought no attention to himself. Nope. He said all the right things, did all the right stuff. Yeah. He's a wonderful coach. Yeah. And you, you fire him. Where is he at now? I have no idea. I have no clue. But you're Detroit. You got a steal with Jim Caldwell. You went to the playoffs. He may be one of the most winningest coaches he in Detroit. He actually changed your culture. Yeah. And you shit canned him. Shit canned him. It makes no fucking sense. And there, here's another one that makes sense. The fact that he got fired. Mm-hmm. The fact that he's not a head coach, you know, and they're yeah, in, a, in exactly. a stream of, well, that guy's 27 and has seen a football game before, so it, we'll hire him yeah. as our head coach. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jim Caldwell over here going, what the fuck? fuck? I don't get it. I mean. I really don't get that. Yeah. It, it makes no sense to me. Um, it, it it's It's shitty things like that is why people... That's why they're they're a shitty organization. Because here's here's the way I look at it. Even if it was Tua or Herbert, yeah. or e- either way, they're both set up to fail because they're going to Detroit. Mm-hmm. Secondly, you're getting one year with your coach because Matt Patricia get fired next year for sure. I mean that's hundred percent guaranteed. 100%. So you go in, okay, after your first year, now you got a new coach, new coaching staff, new mm-hmm. new offense. New, of like, this is how y- you ruin people. Yeah. All of the, let's say, top 50 players in NFL history, of which yep. you've had a couple, mm-hmm. all retired early because they were tired of playing there. Yeah. And you refuse to trade them. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you just, you refuse to try to do anything. Do anything to help them. I, th- Megatron retired at like 26 or 28. Yeah. He wasn't 30 yet. No. And he was amazing. He was the best. best. The best. The best. <laughs> you trade yeah, him. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, you guys suck. Yeah, I mean, it's not. I, I mean, you don't give me any. I'm getting well, quadruple we got team. You fucking signed Golden Tate. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I uh, mean, I'm getting quadruple teamed and still making the catch. Yeah, yeah. what the fuck? They, <laughs> they changing rules. Yeah, given to the <laughs> fact that they didn't know if I caught because nobody catches that ball. Uh, uh-uh. I did. I did, <laughs> and it hit the fucking ground after I fell down. Yeah, and you know, and you, it didn't move. No, it's stuck in that goddamn no. bear paw. Mm. Is shit. And he came out of Georgia Tech. I know. It was when just that awesome. Happen? It's awesome. And they, they produced one of the all-time fucking, fucking uh, receivers to go to the league. Yeah. And then turn into a triple option. <laughs> <laughs> now, wing D. Yeah. You know what? We just produced this massive star in the NFL. We better start running option football, boys. <laughs> that get, is the get only it to where way. Our quarterback throws the ball nine times. Mm-hmm. That's the only way. <laughs> But uh, that, that'd be another one. Is what's what do you do with your Matthew Stafford? Because um, 
if they cut him, mm-hmm. he's in another. Obviously, he's coming off a broken back. That, I can't say that enough. Yeah. But if you're in a position and you aren't in the Tom Brady sweepstakes and you just mm-hmm. need a guy to get, I mean, yeah, it's good luck. Good luck. Good luck at Tampa. Good luck in I mean, Vegas. honestly, if you wanted to make a run, uh, that'd be big look at Vegas. Big look in Vegas. My God. Yeah. Why would you, if you're not the Bengals, why would you draft a fucking quarterback? Yeah. I mean, there's a plenty of, there's a plethora yeah. to go after right now. Could you imagine? Let's just, let's say a hypothetical. Let's say the Bengals throw all their money into the Bridgewater sweepstakes. Yeah. Do you take Chase Young at number one? Or do you take a receiver? Do you take a lineman? I just don't think the Bengals can do that. Okay. I just don't think they can. I'm, yeah, I'm just saying a scenario of of that. Well, you, you for sure don't take Chase Young. Okay. Yeah, I agree. If, if you're them. So if you were, say if you signed Teddy Bridgewater, if yeah. you signed a quarterback and you're yeah. just out on Joe Burrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I'm just thinking, because all of these uh, reports, then, all these reports are coming out that saying, now Joe has never said that, but the reports are coming out that saying that he doesn't want to play for the Bengals. Joe started it, though. He he kind of did by the, he never said it. Yeah. Well, because here's, here, but here's something. But it's the undermining all right. comments. Everything is slotted. Mm-hmm. If you're the number one pick, you know how much money you're getting in for how long? Yeah. As well as every single pick in the draft. Mm-hmm. And you say, I have all the leverage. Yeah. Well, what are you saying there, Joe? Because uh-huh. it's not about fucking money. No. It's about, I can just not show up. Yeah. You know, now he tried to, I'm a football player, I'll play where I'm. Mm-hmm. I'm I was just saying that because I don't know if I'm going to be the number one pick. And Okay, Joe. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. And, I, and I get it. Mm-hmm. it. It'd be an interesting thing. Because he can't, he can't just go out there and say, "I'm not fucking playing here." Yeah, <laughs> it is, that's that's an agent yeah, back channel exactly. kind of. Yep. But if they were going to sign one, that'd be a weird thing too. Because say if they signed Teddy Bridgewater at uh, whatever March 15th or whatever the, mm-hmm. I think that's when it opens up. Yeah. So you're gonna what's that a month ahead of the draft? Mm. Yeah. Well, they know because you're like. <clears throat> Well, they'll take Chase Young, but can you trade that pick? Yeah. Because they know you're not going to take Joe Burrow, nope. so why wouldn't you offer a little less uh-huh. to the number two team? Yep. The Redskins. Yeah. Who may want Joe Burrow. You know. Or the I, Panthers. That, that, yeah. Who just signed his old offensive coordinator as their offensive coordinator. That'd be fantastic. That'd be crazy. But And there's another one. Yeah. I mean, and it sounds like <clears throat> they're, sounds like they're keeping, keeping him, which yeah. is smart because if he's healthy... Uh, $19 million. Yep. You're not getting a backup hardly in the NFL for $19 million. No, and he would fit that kind of offense that he and would the, run. At the end of the day, still pretty fucking good. Yeah. Still pretty fucking good. Mm-hmm. But if imagine if he was dumped out there. Yeah. Now, oh, Cam oh, Newton's now also Cam out Newton's there. Cam Newton's out there. I don't think Cam Newton works well for any other team. I think he can throw it better than people. I mean. I do too. I, just, I don't know, man. It just seems like he's a panther. Yeah, you know, uh, he's a guy who you let me yeah let me backtrack. He's a guy who you set your offense up around. Yeah, he's not a guy who goes into a a good team and plays on their offense. Yeah, you know what I mean. He goes into a bad team because you are willing to change your offense. He doesn't go to a New England. He doesn't go to a New Orleans who already has an offense, right? Because he doesn't fit that. You fit your offense for him because he of his athletic ability. And he can sling the ball. He, I mean, he has a cannon, but he's just uh, he's just that kind of guy where you he doesn't go into an already set offense. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, that's a weird. He's a weird fit. He is. I he's mean, a weird he's just fit. a weird. He's obviously not going to be the a running dynamic that he wants. I mean, no. he, I think he will just because people play the way they yeah. play. But you know, you know injuries, mm-hmm. and I I'll put that on the, some refereeing too. Yeah, because it. Just like LeBron talks about him getting banged around because yeah. he's so big. Yeah. And, you know, Shaq was the same way. Yeah. I mean, even though Shaq beat the shit out of people, too, yes. backing him down. <laughs> yes, he did. But Cam Newton at 6'6", six, six, freak athlete. Mm-hmm. Uh, t- every quarterback in the league gets roughing calls except him. There's three I quarterbacks. I mean, they just rip his head off. There's three quarterbacks that never get that call. Cam, Roethlisberger, and Luck. Yeah. Those three never. Never. Who are the three most injured quarterbacks? Yeah. A-, a lot. Yeah. Those three guys. I mean, think about that. Because I mean, they're, they're big. so not going to call it in Pittsburgh because I pff, 
probably, I mean, Rossberger, a year off football and come back 400 fucking pounds. Yeah. I mean, he's like, he for sure is not getting any calls now. But that's I the mean, thing, though. They never called on big, no, big, strong quarterbacks. Well, you, you take it. You, yeah, exactly. Well, that's I not the there. rule. No, I mean, everybody else rule. gets yeah. the call, but mm-hmm. not me. But he's the only one who bitches about it. Like Rob, he, he should, he should, but like I mean, Luck never bitched, and he got fucking smoked yeah. a bunch. What well, ended his career? Yeah, I mean Roethlisberger never really complained. He just kind of took the injury and, and went. That, that was another one of uh, <laughs> with the you know Jim Irsay talking the other day, kind of like fucking begging. Yeah, Andrew. Yeah, come on, please. It's been a year. <laughs> There's one that we're not mentioning. We didn't mention Indianapolis at all. Yeah, for, for any of these quarterback. quarterbacks, they're getting Philip Rivers. You think? Yeah, I think it's almost a lock. For Philip to Indy, ah. I I don't like Brissett. He's pr- I don't he, either. They just, they've got him on the cheap, mm-hmm. and they, he's they. I think they've made that abundantly clear that he is not their future. Yeah, but they're also not picking in a position. But then again, you could suck. What for- if he just sucked another year and got Trevor Lawrence, which would be the greatest <laughs> thing if you went from fucking Peyton Manning to, to Luck. Andrew Luck to Trevor Lawrence, Lawrence. would be fucking <laughs> phenomenal. With one Super Bowl. But Urshay has, have yeah, one, one Super Bowl. Bowl. But Urshay has sucked before for a quarterback. Yeah. So I don't think he has, I don't think it's up the, for him to, to do it again. The last game of the year when they beat the fucking Texans, mm-hmm. they said the front office, including the owner, the anger they had because they thought that cost them the Andrew luck. luck. <laughs> that it was... <laughs> Not good. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine, but you can imagine that because yeah. all of your because what that what, that win did nothing. nothing. <laughs> now it kept they kept the other ones from you know winning. Uh, I I think they might have been getting a bye in the they playoffs. Might have been. I, I mean, that's the only thing you did was, was hurt them. Yeah, you hurt them. You they, didn't they, help nothing. yourself. Was, yeah. Well, this is their second win. They were uh-huh. I think they were two and fourteen. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, I just I don't honestly don't get it. But, I mean, let's look at it this way. I don't think you're going to win much even if you get Phillip Rivers. I really don't. I just, there's there's not a whole no, lot. There's nothing there. You have to sign Phillip Rivers for almost, almost under 20. Because what, you have to get other people. If you plan on What does sucking, Indianapolis have left, weapon-wise? You have T.Y. Hilton. Who was injured all year. Yeah. For the most part. For the most part. You don't have a, really another number two receiver. Um Depending on the money they got. You're running back. I can't even name the running back. Because nothing would please me more than if they were able to have the financial stability to get some some players. I would love it so much if Tom Brady was in Indianapolis. <laughs> I just feel like yeah. that would be Yeah. You know. I know it. Go win it. Like say if he just yeah, went two for it. two yeah. and it's like isn't that fucking Manning statue down? He got fucking one here in like 15 years. Yeah. Take that fucking Manning statue down. Fucking put it up in Denver. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. And uh, they might put one up. He won one. Yeah. Not really, but no. he was there. He was present. We, the one year now, we should have won it. The year we should have won it. When we got fucked. God damn, we got Opened fucked. with a safety. Uh, after that, I don't even know if <laughs> I, I mean, watched. First play of the game. I don't even know if I watched after that. I'm like, we're oh, getting fucked. no. Yeah. And that was, they set all the records that year. Yep. And then the next year, their defense set all the records and they won. It, <laughs> so 13, the 2013, 14 Broncos. It is the greatest offense in the history of football. Yeah. Statistically yeah. speaking. Yeah. Yep. And then they got ass swamp. Well, how, how many of those, how many offensive categories, offensive statistic for the season is Peyton Manning a part of? Almost and, every one of them. I would say, I, I mean, like, each year, each so year. for what he played, eighteen years, something like that. All, his offense has led for what fourteen, thirteen yeah. years. Mm-hmm. I mean, technically, you've won, yeah, because the second one in Denver that was a defensive championship. Yeah, to the point where they were talking about like he shouldn't even be playing. Yeah, that the other guy, the backup, <laughs> backup should have been playing. playing. But you're not going to not start Peyton Manning <laughs> yeah. in the Super Bowl. Yeah. I mean, so it's it's yeah, I mean. It, now, granted, you got you got beat by an onside kick coming out of halftime. Yeah, I mean that's, so that's what did it. You I mean, know. honestly, but uh, yeah, that's Tom Brady to Indy. That That'd would be cool. that would be so awesome. That's a slap in the face to the Walk Patriots. Walk into Foxborough and just beat the shit out of them. Uh, yeah, I'd be so scared. 
I'd be so scared if I was Tom Brady if I went somewhere else and fucking sucked it up. Mm-hmm. And Bill Belichick got Andy Dalton and went and won a Super Bowl. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's what we're. That would be that's so... why I'm. That's why I'm so shocked if he does go somewhere else. Yeah, I just do not believe. I'm not saying that he's not a, one of the greatest ever. I'm not saying that, but it also has something to do with the culture, the the way right. things are ran. You don't go. Tom Brady, even Tom Brady doesn't go to the Bengals, the Browns, and win a Super Bowl. No. He doesn't. He really honestly doesn't. You have to go to a sound organization where it's a decent coach. It's not a fucking shit show. Like, maybe you could say the Colts. Yeah. I mean, you could say it. Yeah. But still, though, I mean, even Tom Brady can't do that. I mean, they would pay him. The fucking owner walks around with a bag full of hundreds. Yeah. I mean... (laughs) You want some pills? Yeah. <laughs> you want some money? He's the plug. I, I'm just walking around giving it out, brother. <laughs> yeah, he fuck, he carries a flask on him. I mean, That's God awesome. damn, he's a he fucking looks drunk, drunk all the time. All the time. Uh, it's eight o'clock morning there, uh, Jim. There, Jim. You smell like bourbon. Uh, you look like yeah. bourbon. <laughs> I'd like to say it was from last night, but it's from my coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Irish. I make everything Irish. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you're not Irish, though. <laughs> well, Ursay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm converting. Yeah. Oh my god, that would be the. That's what I'd like to see. What? Okay, I, I kind of laid out my thoughts of you know, don't in New England. Okay. I I honestly think Tom Brady's in L.A. Um, Jameis, Vegas. Uh, Teddy, Tampa. Um. Stafford, if they cut him, assuming they will. Boy. I think I'd rather see Stafford in Indianapolis, to be honest with you. Could happen. That that would be yeah. my... Uh, I think just Phillip Rivers, I got nothing for him. Okay. I, I really got nothing for him, and I don't think... I don't think Chicago... I think they would be all in on an Andy Dalton in a backup role. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to say that Tom Brady goes to LA. I agree. I think he's yeah. a charger almost all the way. If he doesn't go back to New England, I'm yeah. saying he's not. Um, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say Andy Dalton. Can I have an or, or do I have to have a, a staple? Yeah, I mean, throw it out I'm there. saying we'll Andy see. Dalton or James Winston to New England. I, I don't, you know, the dumb shit mouth. I don't think works in New England. That's kind of my well, why. I don't Randy think... Moss did it. I understand, but he's also fucking Randy Moss. I understand that. <laughs> I get it. And I, I do. I, I, I get it. It's that. I'm just saying, could happen. That's yeah. just my, it's, it's my thing. Uh, <coughs> shut up. Uh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> um, I see Stafford going to the Bears. Okay. I see Bridgewater either going to Vegas or Tampa Bay. Um, who was another one? Philip Rivers. I think he is a Colt. I think he goes to Indianapolis. Kind of that that yeah. gap in between whoever they want for their future. Um, am I missing one? Car. I think Car's out of um, obviously out of the out of Vegas. I think he has an opportunity to be a um, a bear as well. Yeah, that that would be mine. And am, I, am I missing one? I think Cam stays, and, and I don't think they do anything with him. I think he stays in Carolina. I feel like I'm missing one. Fuck, maybe not. I don't know. That's yeah, mine. Yeah. That's mine. I, you know what? I, I really hadn't thought about the car thing to Chicago. That kind of makes sense. Uh-huh. Mainly for the fact that of all the free agents, and I'm including Andy Dalton in this, Yeah, car is probably the easiest one to put behind Trubisky. Yeah. Because he just, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, I think even though Andy, Andy Dalton gets shit on by a bunch of Bengals, Andy yeah. Dalton won a lot of fucking football games in Cincinnati. He really did. Went to the playoffs like three times. like a four five year stretch, won in 11, 12 games a mm-hmm. year. And went I to mean, the playoffs 12, or not 12 times, th- three, four times. Yeah. I mean, he's yeah. not a bad quarterback. Yeah. He was just the fucking Bengals. You take the last three years of having nothing yeah. to go. Uh, Andy Dalton's got, I'm, fuck, I'm not so sure he's not the most winningest quarterback of all time. <laughs> I mean, he may I mean, yeah. I it's a it, thing where it I, just happened to be these last three years. They didn't get anything help for him. Yeah. I mean, Eifert, your second leading pass catcher was hurt those last three yeah. years. I, 
and I, I think it would be. I know I, I've heard a lot of of Dalton to Chicago as a backup, and then you know flip that in there if, if Big Mitch can't do it. If Trubit, if if Carr, if somebody other than an Andy Dalton would go to the Bears, Mitch Trubisky is not starting. If Carr, no. if Stafford goes to Chicago, Trubisky is not starting. That that's why. I'd... Even though we talked earlier about the GM, yeah, I, and I think the GM is going to be all in. That's why I don't think they sign a quarterback at all. Okay, I think they just re-sign uh, Chase. Chase Daniel, yeah, he's good backup. Yeah, good backup. I mean, he's good backup. Yep. Uh, because I think, and I go with one that we both kind of agree on is of the seeing Andy Dalton in New England. Yeah, because I think that's a, you know, Bill Belichick. Hey, Andy. Uh, I think we can uh, win some games with you. We don't have a lot of room to go with, but uh, if we get you for fifteen million dollars, we'll get some players around you and stuff. Uh-huh. And yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. So now out of that forty-five, you only spent fifteen on a quarterback, yep. and now you got thirty. Well, you'd end up with twenty-three, 23. to get some players. But so. you get you get you know one or two here and there yeah. if you draft a receiver. Yeah, hey, New England, stop fucking trading out of the first round. Um, yeah. Stop doing that. Yeah. It's it's going to bite you in the ass one of these Use times. Use one of your 37 picks to maybe trade up and grab a guy. <laughs> yeah. C.D. Lamb's okay. Yeah, C.D. Lamb's fantastic. I mean, I mean, they did draft Nikhil Harry last year, which I like him, but yeah. he was just kind of on and off. He, yeah, he was kind of hurt. Kind of hurt. <laughs> but if they can get him healthy, he's a stud, man. Because that a, was... I mean, when you're a stud and you stick out at Arizona State, yeah. then you're good. Yeah. You know? And his big deal was his injury. He missed a lot of camp, mm-hmm. and that's for a fucking rookie. I yeah, mean, that's... It's bad. You know. It didn't look good. Um, but yeah, I mean, you get him, you pair him with the, cause the receiving class is so fucking deep. Yeah. Even like the eighth guy could be somebody's number two, depending on your team. Yeah. I mean, seriously, really the, eighth, could be. the eighth, the ranked guy, if you're going rankings could be somebody's number two receiver. It's, it's that, it's that wide open of a class. Hell, the, that people's Jones from Michigan yeah. had an outstanding combine yesterday. He's a, that, but that he, is what's so <laughs> weird. And the whole Michigan thing mm-hmm. is they got some fucking receivers up yeah. there. Yeah. Not only are they good receivers, they're big. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, he's 6'4". Six, 6'4", six, six, four. Six, four, yeah, yeah, something like that. I mean, had I, a- they, I want to say their top three receivers were all 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", ish. Big. Of, yeah. Yeah, can't do a damn thing. I mean, it's, and he's not even on people's top five, so you no. got you have that. You, you pair him with somebody else. It's not bad. Yeah. It's really not. So I mean, that's why I think that if you're if you're in any kind of receiver hurt, you have to draft one this year. Yeah. Because there's so many there's so many. And that's uh and, and that falls right into the you know, yeah, you're looking at guys when you're drafting in the twenties. Mm-hmm. Man, there's some receivers there. Yeah, because no, I mean, nobody in the top five is drafting a receiver. No. No. They don't want to pay a receiver that much money to start out right. with. They don't. That that was a funny thing I seen and said if it went this way of you have to say Ohio State would be the best if it went Burrow, Young, then Okuda. Yeah. I was like, man, they're all three kind of high yeah. state guys, <laughs> even though Burrow you know, Ohio State, they're always gonna take credit for Joe Burrow. Yeah. I was like, yeah, no matter so what. fucking good enough. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's uh Man, the, the quarterback musical chairs, man. Yeah, I know. It's fun. It's fun. It I'm is a- such a, the fact that there's no football going on. It, well, I mean, the XFL is going on, but yeah. I mean, football, football, football. real football, <laughs> real football. I'm happy for the XFL. I hope it stays around because I think mm-hmm. it's going to give some guys some options. Like yeah. we talked about, like a Tate Martell or somebody. Yep. Perfect for mm-hmm. that. But uh, the fact that this is the NBA's time and yeah, nobody gives a fuck. fuck. <laughs> We're talking about, I mean, you th- two and a half weeks, or well, just over two weeks before the, anybody can even sign. And there's this much chatter. Yeah. Yeah. You want one of the lead stories? You have NBA games going on, and one of the lead stories is how many times a fucking punter put up 225 yeah, I know. on the bench. How about that guy? <laughs> I don't know why that would do. I mean, I obviously, punters never do that. No. And he's like the first one in however long to even do it. Yeah. Just, uh, Hey man, you got your name yeah, out there, there because yeah. he shit. He beat a lot of linemen. Yeah, he did. I mean, we did like it, like, was beat, it like all the tight ends. And was it the, in the thirties? He was like twenty five reps okay. at two twenty, which is it's a lot. Fucking getting it. It's a lot. I like all the tight ends except like one, and then like all the receivers. Mm-hmm. Of like, <laughs> like yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
Don't you come back here, try to block me. <laughs> yeah. I'll slap you in the fucking head. They won't flag me. I'm a kicker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's, he's a punter. He can't do anything wrong. Yeah. Which I didn't even see. Uh, I didn't obviously I don't watch the combine. Yeah. But uh, what was, did anybody run uh, like, that uh, rugs? What he, what he get? Uh, it was a four, two, eight. That's pretty quick. Yeah. 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 No wonder Tua could hit fucking people. There wasn't anybody within 30 fucking yards of that guy. Uh, Judy ran, it was in four, four. CD Lamb was like, uh, four, five, four, yeah. four, four, nine, something like that. Which uh, you kind of figure, he's kind of a route runner guy. Yeah, he is. It, which it, is, which is what I want. I, yeah. what I would want. I don't want a rugs. I don't need, yeah. The, I don't need a guy. There was nine times out of 10, that four, two, he, okay, you're going to return some punts because yeah. other than that, there was a list of the top 15 fastest times since 99. Yeah. Of 40 times. Two guys on there did anything. Okay. Champ Bailey's in the Hall of Fame. Yep. He was like 13th or something. Yeah. Chris Johnson. Yeah. Running back. Running back. Other than that, nobody has done anything. Running back. Defensive back. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know, uh, oh, they seem like, man, this is a receiver ran a 4 3. Well, you know who almost always runs a 4 3? All the fucking defensive backs in the league. Yeah. <laughs> Even including the safeties. Yeah. Like, well, he's a slow safety at four, four, five. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> he's fucking 215 pounds. I mean. Yeah. But um, but that was the thing. Like, you don't <sighs> have to be no. the fastest guy. Don't be the fastest guy. Be better at other things. One of the greatest ever, Chris Carter. Yeah. He's slow as fuck. He's slow as fuck. I mean. Yeah. He I just mean, Randy Moss everything. didn't. Randy no, Moss didn't not have. A- not a Jerry burner. Rice was not a burner. No. Oh my God, was he not a burner? No. No. So just do other things. That's why I think C.D. Lamb is the best receiver in the draft. Yeah, because I he too. is a route runner. I do too. He's huge, number one, and he catches everything. Because that's the he ran, but he ran every route for Oklahoma. You didn't see Judy doing anything other than post flags and streaks. Right, and I I think Judy's going to be good. I think I do I, too. I think he's. He's a good route runner, though. Mm-hmm. I, I think I, you know, it's just this concept of he's. I get it, but he just happens to be kind of fast. Mm-hmm. He's not like he's not, you know, he doesn't have blazing speed. No. but boy, he kind of shit in his own mouth this week too. <laughs> Did he? I didn't even yeah. see what he said. <laughs> yeah, the Twitter world hated him because, oh. uh, you know, during his uh, press conference, okay, he had a star at David. He's Jewish. Well, oh, his last name's Judy. People on his team call him Jew. Oh. So he wears a star oh. of David, Uh-oh. and he told that story, obviously. And I, you know, <laughs> Twitter world, <laughs> obviously. A little outraged yeah. at that, that yeah. it's insensitive. But the funny thing is, uh, most of the Jewish community didn't care. No. I think they are like, yeah, yeah, go ahead and convert. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll take you. Yeah. I mean, but it was like... uh just like regular, you know, Catholics yeah. one. This is fucking insane. You shouldn't do. I'm like, calm down. Like, calm down. Calm geez. down. He explained geez. it. I mean, yeah. there's a reason for it. Yeah, he's just not wearing. And he it. didn't call it the the Star David. Like he, he didn't call, know the name did of he it. Call, he said he didn't call it Jew Star. Did he he <laughs> okay. said a Jewish star. <laughs> okay, that's better. I'm glad he didn't call it the <laughs> Jew Star. Like, I mean, it's such a well. You know, my last name's Judy. My teammates a lot of them call me Jews, so that's I got this. <laughs> I mean, it's. I mean, it's funny. It's funny. It's funny, <laughs> but it's not as the b- fact that people were like going, "Oh, the outrage!" You can't draft him. This is racist, blasphemous. Is it? It's is a, it? It's a star. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the Jews didn't get offended by no. it. No, it's not as big as outrage. This caught a bunch of, and I only saw it because of the Twitter, the stupidity of people and their politics yeah. of giving Garth Brooks shit. Did you see that? So he had a concert uh, I, I in Detroit. Heard he got a bunch of shit. He had a concert in Detroit. He wore a Lions jersey, and yeah. it said it was a Barry Sanders jersey, and it said Sanders <laughs> twenty on the. It was a twenty. It was his jersey. Oh, they thought, so it, they was thought it was Bernie, Bernie Sanders. So he thought he was like promoting Bernie Sanders. He's I'm fucking Detroit. Detroit. And he's like one of the greatest players of all time ever. Ever. And you're another wearing reti- his jersey. Another early retirement for yeah. Detroit. I, I what just the was, fuck. Like I was just like people were like. This is ridiculous. I'm like, you guys are fucking morons. You fucking morons. Do you not? Yeah. Well, he's like, I can't believe he's supporting Bernie Sanders. Well, one, what, what if he was? Who cares? <laughs> yeah, who gives a Two, shit? Uh, it's a Lions jersey that says Sanders <laughs> yeah. 20. If you don't know who that is, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah Jesus. Nobody's listening to you. No. At all. No. I was just like, why is this a thing? <laughs> why Why is it a thing? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, 
now. Oh, one thing we didn't talk about because there's another controversy. Uh, I, I'm sure you didn't, but I, I watched the fight over the weekend with Fury and Wilder. Oh, okay. And Fury beat the fuck out I watched of him. A lot of, I watched a lot of clips, yeah. I mean, from the <laughs> get-go, it was over. Yeah. I, I mean, he, I think it, whatever the... When he first knocked him down, fucking blood coming out of his ear. My beard. favorite, I mean, com- this is probably what you're talking about, the comment about his suit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the suit's 40 pounds, and I had it on like 40 minutes before I walked, and then the walk, it was like 15 minutes. It was just, I didn't have any legs. What? <laughs> but then it came <laughs> out like a day later, because he was on Rogan's podcast like a year ago. <laughs> Talking about how he does all of his training with like a forty pound weight vest, <laughs> <laughs> but it was just like, it, and it, I mean, it's an excuse that he's got to make. I understand, which he yeah. didn't need to make it because he has a rematch clause. Yeah, it, he has twenty five days to make yeah. a decision if he wants to fight again. I do not, do not want to see that fight again. At all. No, because Fury should beat the shit out of him again. Yeah. He should. Because a lot of people, I know the first one was a draw, but it wasn't. Yeah. Fury won that fucking fight, yeah. even though he got knocked down twice. <laughs> uh-huh. And you make a strong argument, even though he got pretty much knocked out in the 12th round, that Fury won the fucking round. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. It, it's just, it's not even. Deontay no. Wilder can go fight. Now, I mean, I, yeah, I'd rather see him fight Anthony Joshua than yeah. Tyson Fury, even though. Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua need to fight. Mm-hmm. I mean, and is I that think the only guy he has hasn't fought. Yeah, Anthony Joshua's a big motherfucker. Isn't Anthony he? Joshua holds all the other belts. Okay, Fury. Well, he, Fury got those the, the WBC okay. from Wilder. Gotcha. Fury's still the linear champion because he's he yeah. never lost his tire title when he retired. Gotcha. So he retained it when he came back. Gotcha. Uh, and then all the other belts is Anthony is Joshua. Anthony Joshua has. Gotcha. And he's got oh whatever. Whatever the belts that he has, there's a rule of he has to fight whatever this certain contender. Mm-hmm. So he's got a mandatory fight. He has to fight this guy. And then after that, his promoter said that we got to fight this guy and then we're fighting Fury. Okay. But if Wilder checks yeah. that box. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Why would you want to do that? Because I did. I watched a lot. I didn't watch the whole. Yeah. I watched it on YouTube. Well, then you've seen it. Yeah, I mean, it I mean, was. It was, he beat the piss out of him. Yeah, it wasn't even, it, it wasn't a contest. No. Like, you know, I know Wilder, he fired his fucking yeah. guy for stopping the fight. Yeah. Now, there's two ways to look at it, too, because it wasn't the number one corner man. Okay. It wasn't the head guy. It was okay. the second in charge that stopped the fight. Gotcha. Now, I, you know, you don't know what happened. Was the second guy saying, hey, you need to stop the fight. Hey, you need to stop the fight. This isn't, he and can't win. Guy, he can't, yeah. And he just didn't listen, so then he did it. Uh-huh. Or did he just do it? Now, yeah. if he just did it, mm-hmm. you're fired. Yeah. Because it's a head guy. Yeah. There, there's a pecking order. Uh-huh. That's that guy. But if you kept saying that and he didn't do it, and so you stopped it, well, then you got to have a problem with the head guy. Yeah. Because Deontay wouldn't win in that no. fucking fight. No, you he- have a rematch clause. Yeah. Get him out of there. Yeah. Get him out of there. Mm-hmm. The round before that, he threw five punches and landed zero. Yeah. <laughs> and got fucking pummeled. Uh-huh. And I'm going to tell you what. Ten more seconds, and the ref stops the fight anyways. Yeah. He backed himself into a corner and just started to yeah. put his hands up, up. kind of, yeah. <laughs> and just started taking barrels right yeah. down the... Yeah, uh, it, oh. was, it was bad. It was bad. I wanted to go out on my shield. <laughs> you wanted to die? You wanted to die? Yeah. I understand you guys are gladiators, but fuck off, man. Yeah. You made like $40 million Saturday. <laughs> you got like three exactly. kids. Yeah, easy. What, I mean, what the fuck? Yeah. Be fine. Mm-hmm. Be okay with it. Yeah, fight somebody else. I, I mean, because I think... You're going to fight again. He's only in his 20s, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to fight again. I'll tell you what I would do if I was him. Mm-hmm. You, got fight. Tw- you got 25 days to make it happen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anthony Joshua wants to... He's got to do this. His promoter says, we're gonna f- we got to fight the guy that we have to fight. And then we're going to fight Fury. Unless, you know, Wilder does that clause. Well, you got about 20 days left. Mm -hmm. Rough, you know, roughly 19 days. I would be on the horn with Eddie Hearn, which is Joshua's promoter. If I'm Wilder going, I want to contract in writing me and you are fighting. Him and Anthony Joshua Joshua are fighting. Uh, If you don't sign this contract by this time, I'm going to rematch him and blow you up. Because then that, that just. Yeah. 
which is what's going to happen because it's fucking boxing. Yeah. And like the two guys that really need to fight never fight. Uh huh. <laughs> because, you know. Yeah. And I think Fury beats the fuck out of Joshua, anyways, but because I he's just the best. Yeah. He's really I good. Mean, he's he awesome. He's really good. He's just fucking awesome. He is. I yeah. mean, and then he sang American Pie yeah. to his wife. <laughs> I know. And he knew all the words <laughs> of like, just like, yeah. You're not, even, you're not from here. Nope. But like, everybody loves you. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're the Gypsy King. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> he is he just seems like a cool dude to be around yeah like yeah. the pictures and stuff like before the fight he's in there smiling you know yeah, like you see, you see yeah. wilder he's yeah. like oh, uh, stretching everything yeah he's sitting like his wife watching fucking tv <laughs> you know? that's how we all want to be yeah they just be an overweight guy that's a world champion yep <laughs> <laughs> and like by far yeah a world champion yeah and that's a, that's a bad thing too of and I don't, and I, I'm totally anti-boxing for the fact of you're not allowed to lose. Mm -hmm. And it's such a blemish that he has that draw on yeah. his card and it shouldn't have been, mm -hmm. but I, it's just boxing needs to get over that of like, yeah. you know, you have Khabib Nurmagomedov is undefeated in the uh -huh. UFC. That's fucking unheard of. Yeah. John Jones, he has a one, no decision because yeah. he got DQ'd. So he's yeah. got that. Well, he's got a no contest because some, you know, supplements. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> he's got the one loss. Yeah. Because he was DQ. Mm -hmm. He beat the fuck out of that guy. Yeah, John Jones did. undefeated. Yeah. That doesn't happen. No. Most of the guys get like five, eight, ten yeah. losses. Yeah. In boxing, nobody ever fights each. You never get any good fights because nobody's allowed to lose. Yeah, I know it. I mean, nobody's allowed to lose. If you're not undefeated, you're done. Yep. It's just upsetting. And it could be such a good sport. It could be. It really could be. I I don't know. Seems like it kind of went away ever since UFC got big. Yeah. Because, I mean, I remember being a kid and everybody wanted to watch Tyson. Yeah. Like, you didn't really hear about, you heard about UFC just because you still had Chuck. And, right. you know, you had those guys. But every, everybody talked about Tyson. Right. And I remember boxing being like the thing. And then I remember being like a teenager. And I'm like, does anybody box anymore? Right. Like, it was all UFC because you had... Liddell, Rampage, uh, Lesnar, all those guys, you know, pretty much bringing the UFC back yeah. up, you know? Because you find out who the best is. And we yeah. take, you can take the 155 pound title in the UFC just because that's kind of where the action's at right yeah. now. Of Khabib's one of the greatest. Mm -hmm. uh, got a fight against Tony Ferguson in April. Okay. And Tony Ferguson's a guy that might fucking beat him. Okay. I mean, it's a horrible matchup. Yeah. Did um, Khabib fight McGregor? Is that not yeah, the right way? Yeah, they fought. Okay. That was like uh, over a year ago, though. Okay. It was Connor's first fight back, back after the Floyd fight. Like uh, okay. two years after the Floyd fight. All right. Of like, man, fought in the UFC for three, three years, years and yeah. then comes back and fights Khabib. Khabib. Yeah, that's fun. So, so Khabib's going to fight Tony, and then whoever wins that fight is going to fight Connor. Yeah. Because it's a UFC, See, and that's, and that's the fight it. that needs to happen. Yeah. In, in boxing, Anthony Joshua. <laughs> Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury for the last four years have all been undefeated. Yeah. Champions. Uh-huh. Fight each other. And they've only fought <laughs> twice. Two of them have fought twice. twice and the other one uh, lost to a uh, overweight fella. The Ruiz guy? Yeah. Yeah. Got knocked out. <laughs> now you want it back, but yeah. it's like, if, if this was the UFC in boxing, you guys would have all fought each other already yeah. and been going through it again to uh -huh. see who the fuck Fuck's the, the best, best is. Yeah. You yeah. can't dodge people because you, you start looking at that of like, now nah, I'm obviously I'm a big Tyson fan, but you can't say Tyson's the best. No. Now I know there's a layoff and stuff, but he, huh? Vanna Holyfield was better than Mike Tyson. Yeah. And you can't say he's the best because you know who's better than him? Lennox Lewis. Yeah. I mean, it's. But you don't all, know. But yeah, you don't, and you don't know. They're like, fight. well, it's just, is it, you know, uh, you can't say that because uh, Vander was getting a little longer too. Yeah. Him and Lennox, same fucking age. Yeah. <laughs> and there was another draw. Yeah. That wasn't a draw. Lennox Lewis beat the fuck out of him. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, that like, is weird. So what do you... I yeah. mean, why, why wouldn't you want that? Why wouldn't you want to show no, the best never, versus the best? Yeah, I, it's stupid. And then there's 37 the fucking the titles. Yeah. <laughs> the best of the best. Well, I'm the heavyweight t champion. <laughs> Are really? You? I've never heard of you, and this guy's got like nine belts. You've got one. <laughs> yeah. This is the WWE belt I bought at Toys R Us. <laughs> I'm the heavyweight champion. <laughs> But yeah, okay, that was my my fighting rant. That's okay. I I, I wanted you to talk about the Fury yeah. and the and the Wilder one. I the, wanted to buy it, and then I was like, no, 
I don't, I don't want to buy it. That's the tough thing because obviously it's expensive. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I think it's 70 bucks or mm-hmm. whatever. But uh, the thing with boxing is the undercard is fucking garbage, yeah. man. Like, that's a bunch of nobodies. Mm-hmm. At least if I'm spending like 65, 70 bucks on a UFC. Like, I know the fighters, like the main yeah. card, like the four fights leading up, usually pretty fucking pretty good. good. Yeah. And if it's not, I'm not, you know, going to buy it. it yeah. So. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, it's, uh, but the UFC fights were pretty good too. Fucking Paul Felder. Yeah. Hooker. Just went after it. And, uh, you know, close fight. And, you know, Felder may have retired. So, yeah. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good week. Pretty good. Pretty big, pretty, pretty big, big day pretty for, big. pretty big day <laughs> for you. <laughs> But it's, it is nice that it's Friday and you get two more days off coming. Yeah, I know. <laughs> God forbid. Yeah, I don't know what I would do if I had to work tomorrow. I mean. Yeah, it's tough gotta life. Gotta go back to work tonight, though. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go watch it. That'd I know. a job in itself. <laughs> I'm like going and watching bad fucking basketball. I know it. I'm not talking about your team. <laughs> talking about the other three teams. Thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, well, you, I'm guessing you're going to have to get to a bus or something, huh? Probably. I don't even know what time it is. I don't either. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I need to go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Later. White tight.